So, uh, just introduce yourself, please. Um, well, my name is Katie. I'm 13 years old. And I look after my mum and my nan. What's the biggest difference the pandemic has made to you and your role as a young carer? Biggest difference is that before COVID, I didn't worry about much. I didn't miss much. I felt my life was perfectly normal. But during COVID, it made me realise how different I am, how different my situation is and how different everything could be. Katie Allsop from Roos in South Wales helps care for her grandmother, who's had several falls. She helps dress her, does her hair, helps with meals, and in between schoolwork, handles all phone calls for her mother, who has a speech impediment. Sometimes I'll, I'll be, be there if they phone, and I'll be, hi, and they'll say, hi, is this Catherine Jane? I'll say, no, this is her daughter, I usually speak for her. Sometimes people won't understand it, and they say, no, but we have to speak to your mother. I said, well, I'm sorry, but I'm the best that you can do. So me as a 13 year old, I want to live a normal 13 year old's life. But sometimes it's hard to because I have to look after people and there's so much on my mind that I have to feel like I'm 23, not 13. Yeah. Sometimes I can't be a child. So that's quite sad as well. And have you felt that more acutely during lockdown? Yes. Because it's meant, she says, being at home more and so relied upon more. They had to shield after her mother was diagnosed with cancer in July. For many young carers, it's been a year of heightened dependency and isolation. Well, I've been very sad and I felt like I can't cope with things. My grades in school have gone down because of everything that overwhelmed in my mind. But I've had lots of help through my friends and the YMCA and carers that I haven't had to be so upset anymore. This is our um, youth wing. It was, it's our new young people centre that was open during the pandemic. Help has come from the YMCA Young Carers Project, but it's been limited by lockdown restricting access to their centres like this one in Cardiff. It's open today only for us to meet Katie and two other young carers, Adam and Abby James. Their father had a stroke after a car crash. What's it like to think of yourselves caring for your dad sometimes? It sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? It's like... We're used to it, so... I think um, the worst part for me is um, sometimes, you know, if Dad's feeling down, it's sad to... It's just a bit like, oh, you know, I can't... It, has, it changes and it's, you know, I mean, I get sad if he's sad and stuff like that. So I, I think the best part is just knowing that I'm helping. During lockdown, have you found yourselves having to do more? Um, definitely, since Dad was, um, he had sepsis um, over lockdown. Estimates vary over how many young carers in the UK there are. One study puts it at more than 800,000. The Charity Carers Trust says for many, the pandemic has brought a steep rise in responsibilities and a decline in mental health, something the YMCA in Cardiff has noticed too. Typically, young carers are a group of young people who are more isolated um, than your, your average young person, but it's only been exacerbated by the pandemic, really. Um, you know, with homeschooling and juggling that caring role, we've fully seen the effects of how difficult that can be, um, especially in the first lockdown where, you know, external carers were pulled. And when we speak to our young carers, every single one of them has said that their caring role has increased. A Welsh Parliament committee is today calling for the safe reopening of face-to-face -face support to be prioritised for young carers, many of whom now return to school worried what impact that could have at home. I would say to other people, don't judge a book by its cover. Because I mean, it may look like I, there's nothing going on in my, my life. I may look like I'm fine, look like I'm having a normal teenage life. But actually, you don't know what's behind closed doors. You don't actually know. Yeah. And what is the best thing about being a, a carer? best thing about being a carer is probably that you feel so much closer to your family, that you feel 
the feel like you're needed and that always makes me feel better knowing that I'm needed. If there's someone your age watching you speak so eloquently about this, what, what would you like to say to them and other young carers at a time like this? Well, keep doing what you're doing. You're incredible and don't let people take you down.